Hey, y'all, I'm Paula Dean. Today I'm firing up my show in my brand new smokehouse. And I want to start with a sensational shrimp mold. And then I'm going to be making a pineapple pork chomp that's dripping with savory juices. And for the side, I'm going to be fixing zucchini and green bean bundles. And just cause we're grilling, ain't no reason to forget about dessert. So how about some ripe roasted fruit that's just smothered in a banging bourbon glaze? That's all coming up, so let's get to cooking. over there hoping to see some dolphins. Sometimes one after the other will come down the creek. So today I thought it was very appropriate that I fix something that came out of these waters. So I'm gonna start by fixing us a shrimp mold. There's nothing like a wild Georgia shrimp. And they're so sweet and so delicious. Now I've got a few here that I have not shelled. I'm just taking my real sharp paring knife and running down that vein and we're just gonna peel the shells off. I've got most of them peeled right here. In fact, Michael had most of them peeled for me. In fact, hey Michael. Hey, <laughs> Michael's standing over there on the porch watching me cook. And I'm just gonna throw our shrimp into this water. And you know not to cook shrimp for very long. Uh, they don't take but just a few, few minutes, because if you overcook them, uh, you'll find that you're eating something that tastes much like a, an eraser, and you don't want to do that. So while our shrimp are cooking, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add some cream cheese and some mayonnaise. I love me some mayonnaise. And you know another condiment that I do love is Dijon mustard. There's just not another flavor in the whole entire world like Dijon mustard. I just love it. All right, so I'm going to take my fork. I had all this at room temperature, but of course room temperature today is about 38, <laughs> which is like a refrigerated temperature. So that cream cheese is a little bit hard. <laughs> Let's see if that heat will soften that cream cheese. I couldn't stand it out here today if I didn't have these heaters. Normally it's not this chilly in Savannah. All right, now I'm gonna add a little pepper. And let's see, let's add a little bit of hot sauce to it. Cause you know how Michael is, he, he likes his hot stuff. And I'm gonna add some green onions. All right, let's see if our shrimp are ready. Oh, and I think they are. Oops. <laughs> One with a shell got in the pot. That wouldn't be so good ground up. Uh, we do a lot of crab dips down here too, but we normally serve those hot. And of course, this one's gonna be served cold. Uh, that's what I love about this recipe. It's refrigerated and you can pull it out and it's just ready. Oh, oh my goodness. It's so good and tender. Mm. All right. Now I'm gonna put these in our food processor and I'm gonna pulse them because I don't want them minced, I want them chopped. You can see I don't have a mince too fine. In fact, I kind of want them as coarse as our conversation on the Saturday night around this smokehouse. And I think that's about perfect. Mm. 
All right, now you can see how quickly this wonderful dip came together. All right, I'm gonna take this bowl and I've got a piece of plastic wrap. Now I'm gonna just line this bowl. Now I'm just gonna spoon this into that lined bowl. We eat so much shrimp salad here in Savannah. Uh, just about every restaurant you go into, you can find a, a shrimp salad sandwich on the menu. All right, now I'm just gonna cover that like that and press it. And I'm gonna let him sit until he's firmed up. In fact, I have one down here. Michael even put us a refrigerator out here, which is wonderful. I don't have to make but one trip with everything. So, we'll put him in there. And because we've lined it with the saran wrap, we're easily going to be able to just turn him out onto our plate. Doesn't he look good? And this needs very little garnish. I think I'll put us a few crackers around. And I can never decide which cracker I like the best with this. All right, let's see. Just a little bit of green onions. Y'all ready for a taste? You must try this recipe. Like I said, if you don't have fresh shrimp, just use the canned shrimp in the grocery store. You're gonna love this. It's incredibly simple and delicious. And I gotta leave for a second, but when we come back, I'm gonna show y'all how I prepare a pineapple pork chop pie on the grill. Welcome back, y'all. <laughs> In case you've just joined me, I'm out here enjoying some of this beautiful, warm Savannah weather. It's actually about 20 degrees cooler than it normally is here. But regardless of the weather, us folks down south, we love to grill out. And that's what we're doing today. We're doing a smokehouse meal. And what we're moving to next is called pineapple pork chop pie. Now we're just gonna take a a regular pork chop. Now these happen to be boneless. I just bought a whole loin and I sliced it the thickness that I wanted. And these are so good because you don't have to fool with a bone. All right, now I'm just gonna salt and pepper this. And I wanna make sure I get that seasoning all over them on both sides. Now I would really recommend that you double wrap these. We're not going to stick them directly on the coals. We're going to cook them up on the grate, but just you just don't want to use real thin tinfoil and, and it leak on you. If you accidentally tear it, then all that fabulous juice from the pork, you know, will spill out and you don't want to lose a drop of it. If you can see, Michael thought of everything out here in our smokehouse. He's got a wonderful sink and it me considerate girls. He's thinking about me all the time. Now let's move on. All right, so I've got some bell peppers done and I'm gonna do us a few onion rings. Okay. All right, so we've got our salt and pepper chops and we're gonna start with a bell pepper and a ring of onion and a ring of pineapple. And now I'm just gonna douse it with a little bit of teriyaki sauce. All right. I don't believe it, y'all, but I forgot my butter. That's not like me. I can't believe that I, Paula Dean, forgot the butter. I would be so mad if I got the one missing this pat of butter. Oh, you can do it without butter, but who would want to? Can't imagine wanting to do it without butter. Okay, the bell pepper, the onion, the pineapple, the teriyaki sauce. 
This is just a great little meal that's very little work, but is big, big on flavor. All right, so we're just gonna throw these over here on our hot fire. We're just gonna put these on the grill and I've got some already on the grill cooking that should be about ready. Ooh, I can smell that pineapple and teriyaki sauce. And while we're over here, I want, I want to show y'all something. You see this little house right here? Well, this is the house that my husband lived in, that Michael lived in as a teenager. And if those walls could talk, Paula may not be standing here cooking today. <laughs> Ooh, these are hot. Hot and smelling good. And those others are already starting to just sizzle. And let's see what we've got. You know, when you say grill cooking down here, we just love pork done on the grill. Look at all that beautiful, rich sauce the butter and the teriyaki sauce. And uh, that looks so good. You know, the hobo hamburger was the most requested recipe off the Food Network. That told me that people want regular recipes that are easy to fix and allow them to enjoy the out of doors. So I think this recipe is gonna be right up there because those hobo burgers are cooked in tin foil on the grill just like this. With a lot of the same ingredients, only in the hobo burgers I use, I use potatoes. All right, so let's dig into one of these and, and see what we got but I've never known a pig that I didn't like off the grill. Mmm. That pork chop is so good and so tender, and the pineapple gives it that sweetness. I know the perfect side dish for this wonderful pork pie. When you come back, I'm gonna show you how I do it. I told y'all that I felt like I had the perfect, perfect side dish for those pork chops. But before we get started on our, on our vegetable side, I'm gonna start over here making us a glaze because when we get through making our vegetable side, we're gonna move back over and I'm gonna show you a fabulous way to eat fruit off the grill. Now I'm starting here with two sticks of butter and I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of bourbon, or you can use rum if you like, but I'm using bourbon. Mm -mm. Smells delicious. I'm going to use two cups of light brown sugar. And I'm going to use a half a cup of water. We're going to let this just start cooking. In fact, I think I'm going to take one of our plates and just cover that up so it'll cook quicker. All right, today I'm gonna make us a nice vegetable using fresh green beans and fresh zucchini. Now I've gotten some green beans that have been washed. All I'm gonna do is just snap the ends of them off just like this. So this is really gonna be a fairly healthy meal. Tell you what, Michael and I could kinda stand to lose a few pounds, if you know what I mean but I don't, I don't want to lose weight and sacrifice eating all the things that, or having to quit eating all the things that, that we enjoy so much. And there goes that wind again kicking up. All right, I've got our green beans snapped. And now I'm gonna take our zucchini. This has been washed. I'm just gonna cut the tips off 
and I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm just going to cut this in strips like I would a French fry. All right. And this is just really super simple. I'm going to get a bundle of the beans. And I'm going to put a little of my silly salt. It's got a little hint of lemon in it, and it's so good. And I taste the garlic. All right, now I'm going to put a pat of butter. We can't cook a vegetable without some butter. And I'm going to put a little pepper. And then we're just going to bundle these up and throw them on the grill just like we did our pork chops. And we're going to do the zucchini the same way. I just adore grilled zucchini. We're going to do it the same way. A little silly salt. And a little pat of butter. These vegetables are perfect alongside a, a good grill steak. All right, let's throw these on the grill real quick like. If you're worried about your paper maybe getting a little prick in it, you can double wrap it so you won't lose any of those juices because it's going to be full of that wonderful melted butter. All right, so now while those are cooking, let's go back over here and see how our syrup's doing. Looks yummy. I'm going to take it off the heat. Oops. want to give this a taste. It's kind of thick and syrupy, which is perfect for what we're going to be doing with it. Mmm. Gosh, that'd be good on top of ice cream, I think. In fact, we may do that. All right, now I'm going to take a plum. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to pop out that seed. And I'm going to dip these down in our sauce. And I'm just going to throw them on the grill. All right. So we've got our plums on the grill, so while I'm in the grill, I think I'll check our bundles and see how they're doing. The zucchini cooks a lot quicker than the green beans. And this is cooked perfect. It's yummy. Just yummy. Well, while I take these off the grill, y'all run to the bathroom or get you something to drink. And when we all come back and meet right here, I'm going to take the rest of the vegetables off and I'll have them ready for you. I'm going to take the plums off and then I got some tips for you that you're not going to want to miss. So I'll see y'all back in a few minutes. That wind is really whipping up out here. And I can't think of any better thing than a warm dessert on a chilly afternoon. And this is my tip for you today. We all love s'mores, don't we? Well, when you're wanting to do your entire meal outside, I want to show you the perfect way to make a s'more. Now, we're just going to take our tin foil, we're going to take our graham cracker, and we're going to get our chocolate. And then I think three marshmallows will work perfectly. And then we're going to sandwich that bad boy together. We're just going to tuck that tin foil around, stick that bad boy on the grill, and within a matter of a few minutes, you've got a s'more. Look at that s'more. You know, when I'm cooking, I can't have too many desserts around a soup Michael Groover. He's got a sweet tooth the size of his smokehouse. So, I want to show you how I decided to serve these grilled plums with that bourbon sauce. I'd have a little butter pecan ice cream 
and I think a little bit more of that sauce just kind of drizzled over that ice cream. What a perfect way to get your fruit intake for the day. So there you go, desserts from the grill. I sure do appreciate y'all being here with me today. I want you to know that this was the first meal cooked in our new smokehouse, and I had so much fun being with y'all. But I tell you what, that pork pineapple pie and the shrimp dip and the vegetables and the grilled fruit is hard to beat. So until next time, America, I hope you enjoy these recipes and many, many more, and I send you love and best dishes from my kitchen to yours.